6.54 p.m. Eastern, August 18th. Um, in the last five minutes, I was hit terribly with more chemical gas. Um, I can't say what I was doing in here. It's not really interesting, but I just can't report what I was doing. Only thing I can report is I was in my main room, and they just fill it up, and they keep filling it up, and I can't resist it. They filled it up for a good four minutes before I said out loud, more poison. And I tried to resist it for another handful of seconds, like up to 60 seconds, and I couldn't. The pain became too intense. And then at that point, I'm doing the same routine. I'm grabbing at my abdomen, and I'm racing to the bathroom. By the time I get to the bathroom, I have seconds to get to the bowl, the toilet. This is terrible. And, I'm, and they're pee-pooing again. But for the, for the second time in this poisoning, they're not filling up my bathroom. And I really, really, really am grateful for that. Um, it's just being emitted into my main room. I don't walk into clouds, fogs, whatever you want to call it, a poison waiting for me when I return in my extra room or in this room. It's just, it just seems to be one and done. But they're definitely using it. They're definitely hitting me. They're definitely having me run back and forth. They're doing it anytime they like. Yeah, I said this. Most of the time, I could never report this. Now at 6.50, here, the time is 6.56 p.m. Eastern, I'm allowed to say that the hallway has been engulfed in a dead body. That dead body that I said was when I was using the faucet, the water in the, in the bathtub, it's like squared now. The stench is everywhere. It's all through the hallway. It's all through the bathroom. It's omnipresent. It's everywhere. The stench of this rotting, dead corpse. Rotting meat, so on and so forth. It's a dead body. Okay? All right. I don't have to yell at the good guys about this. I'm not. I'm just stunned. And I couldn't say anything. This, I'm glad I could say something now. And I can also say that they're raising hell in the front yard right before the first chemical attack. They had this massively loud muffler car show, quote unquote. The muffler was so loud. I've never heard a muffler that loud, that close to my physical body. They just whipped it right in front of the, the house. This muffler from some sort of this is stuff you normally go to a, a field, be, people buy tickets. You know, they go look at car mufflers and stuff. There's enthusiasts for this stuff, that's fine. But it's not ever, I've never seen a city, and I, I've already said this, it's, it's pointless to talk about it. I've never seen a city that had these kind of regulations. Just There's no regulations. It's, bring any kind of muffler you like here. Bring any kind of eight-wheeled, six-wheeled semi truck bring it here they, they they're so full of fucking shit in this city no wonder why the saudi arabians are just convinced just to go send out you know their police force they control um it's all drug cartels drug smuggling so of course they're convinced of this they're saudi arabian fucking drug smuggling terrorists of course they think they can just go arrest with a psychiatric uh, premise the senators the congress they run everybody they own them if they don't like them, I said this, they did this, uh, the Jordan, the Jordan, Prince of Jordan, he's a, is he dead yet? Someone tell me when he's dead. Like, just let me know, because their time's coming. Um, the Prince of Jordan went and, and, and wiped out all these U.S. quote unquote military members on a base. That was his military. They're over there fighting for his ass. They're over there fighting for Al Qaeda and they know it. They're over here, coming back over here, attacking the 60% of the good guys. They know it. They got all these college hookers writing newspaper stories. There's probably one coming tomorrow, a letter written by a college hooker. Another letter is telling me I'm imagining ISIS. I'm imagining chemical weapons. Gonna get me, gonna get me, couldn't take me to court. Okay, so anyway, so there's a muffler that just just I couldn't even believe it I was standing in the hallway right after being they did it before they started pounding their car doors really loud all these car doors 
And then you could, then I got hit with the chemical gas. And by the time I came out of the bathroom, they were, all I could hear was mufflers in my house. It was like as if there was a muffler in my living room, just I can't even describe this. I really got to get a thesaurus, just review my notes day by day, what I went through, what I survived, what I witnessed. Get that thesaurus out. This is going to be all I need. It's like the Bible. It's like the, it's like the voice of God. Get the thesaurus, Heidi. Get the thesaurus. Oh, I will. So a muffler was going off, and there was this dead corpse just filling up my, my house. It's just filling up the living room. Not the living room, sorry. It's filling up the hallway. It's filling up my bathroom. So every time they're hitting me now in the early evening with this chemical gas, and I'm going to the bathroom, I have to, as soon as I open the door, I have to breathe through my mouth. <sighs> No, you can't. You don't have that choice, dude. It is a rotten, moldy, rotting, yucky, disgusting, rotten meat, dense mold. There's no describing it. It has human feces. It's just so foul. Corpse, dead body in the house somewhere. And along with that is the steam room out there. It's all steamy and hot. So I'm standing there listening to this muffler. Normally you see at a car show, you go to an arena for that, or you go to the field, you buy tickets for this shit. It's just ripping. <laughs> right outside the door somewhere, right outside the front of 1509. <laughs> just going and going and going. And there's this dead body in a steam room, and they just hit me with chemical gas, and, and then, then that was the first time, and now they just did it again. Okay, adios.